Welcome, NCLEX High Yielders. This is Dr. Zishan, and I'm the host of NCLEX High Yield Podcast, where we will be giving out daily content for your exam, tips and tricks that the boards love to ask, and overall general information on how to study, what to study, and complex topics broken down for you. Whether you're a first-time test taker or even a repeat test taker, we have helped people across the globe pass their NCLEX exam, so do not give up and get motivated. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast and also visit our Instagram at NCLEX High Yield, at NCLEX High Yield, where you can DM us questions so we can answer them on the podcast. Also, check out our website, www.nclexhighyield.com, and subscribe to receive a link to our weekly free Zoom session. Free Zoom session where I drop all types of content, break down complex topics, and make them easy for you to understand every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys then. Take care. All right. Now let's jump into endocrine. Um, we're going to talk about diabetes insipidus versus SIADH. Very confusing. And then we're going to talk about diabetes mellitus. Well, diabetes insipidus, diabetes mellitus, no certain things. Diabetes, the word diabetes comes from what? The word diabetes comes from the Greek definition of a water siphon. A water siphon. So basically what's happening is when you develop diabetes, you're developing this polyurea. Your body is siphoning out water. With insipidus, insipidus is the insatiable urge for water insatiable like cannot satisfy your thirst because of your polyuria because of your diabetes insipidus is that polydipsia that you want to constantly drink water and you're constantly eliminating it diabetes greek for siphoning out water peeing or polyuria insipidus means i'm constantly thirsty insatiable urge to drink water and mellitus, the word mellitus, is a Latin word for honey or sugar. So you can see where diabetes mellitus is the siphoning of water secondary to sugar levels, right? Because people that have diabetes mellitus, we talk about polyuria with, polyuria with them as well. So you see how they kind of make sense. Two different pathologies, but very similar presentations with polyuria. So let's get into diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus. So what happens? Well, we have no ADH, no antidiuretic hormone. No antidiuretic hormone. Well, what does that mean? So it's a double negative. Double negative, no antidiuretic hormone. So I'm not able to retain water. All I'm going to do is continuously peeing, continuously peeing. Right? This is a double negative. It costs it out. So guess what? All you're doing is you're diuresing. All you're doing is peeing. Because I have no antidiuretic hormone. All I'm doing is peeing everything out. Get rid of the double negative. That's what confuses people. Two types of diabetes insipidus. Central and nephrogenic. So where is, where is ADH produced? Two places. Number one is in the pituitary. And second is in the kidney. So if it's no ADH, I can knock it out centrally. Maybe I've developed a pituitary adenoma. Maybe I've got an infarct. Maybe I've got um, head trauma, Sheehan syndrome, whatever it is. It caused my pituitary to malfunction. And with my pituitary malfunctioning, I am no longer making ADH. Okay, so that's one version of diabetes insipidus. The other one is nephrogenic, originating from the kidney. So kidneys also make ADH. So what if I knock out the kidneys? What if we're in acute renal failure? What if we're in chronic kidney disease? What if I give them lithium? Ooh, board question. What if I give them lithium? And now they've developed diabetes insipidus. Okay. So, 
we've got no ADH. We're peeing out. What are we going to do? What are the boards looking for? They want to see if you understand what's happening to the body. They want to see if you understand what the treatment is. So let's take a look at that. All right, T, I see you. T with the dead. All right, Ayan, I see my students that are ready to take their exam. Well, I'm sitting here erasing all this. Ayana and T got their test coming up. I'm going to hear some good news from them. All right. So it's not as... Okay, so you know what? Since you guys already talked about it, let's talk about desmopressin. Desmopressin. So we'll start with that, and then we'll get into the more complex stuff. Desmopressin. It is just like ADH. It's basically giving the patient ADH. Okay. If we don't have ADH, well, let's give them a version of it. It acts just like ADH. So give it to them. Get them to stop peeing. Get them to retain some of that uh, fluids. They won't be polydipsic. They will not be poly... Oh, they won't have polyurea. So give them that. Absolutely, that's how we're going to treat it. And remember, when I talked about the five types of questions on this board exam, the five types of questions on this board exam, when it comes to the freebies, the fourth type of question that I talk about, usually it's going to be farm. Usually it's going to be farm. Because those freebies, either you know it or you don't. This person's got diabetes insipidus. What are you going to give them? It's going to be a straightforward question. Either you know it or you don't. All right, now let's get into what the boards really want to ask you. If, if, if you are constantly peeing, what is going to happen to your specific gravity? 1.003 to 1.030. Look at the only changing. Dang, look at all you guys. Man, are you sure you need to be attending this right now or what? <laughs> all of you guys got this. I love it. I love it. Absolutely, it's going to be low. Why? Because we're diluting. We're diluting the urine. We're diluting the urine. The more we pee out water, the more dilute our urine is, the lower our specific gravity is. All right, let's talk about the serum. What about a serum sodium? That's the one that they love asking, especially with SIADH and DI. What happens to our serum sodium? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be high. High, high, high. We are dehydrating the body. We are getting rid of water. So everything in the serum is going to be elevated. How about our serum osmos? Absolutely. Absolutely. They're going to be high. They're going to be high. What about our H&H? &H? Our hemoglobin hematocrit? High. Absolutely. All asking the same thing. Do you understand what's going on? This is your select all that apply question right here. Because if I was writing this question, I'm seeing if you understand this. Select all that apply. Is my sp specific gravity going to be low? Serum osmo is going to be high. Serum sodium is going to be high. Select them. It's a concept. Don't get intimidated. Don't get intimidated. All right, so on the flip side, let's talk about SIADH. SIADH, syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Too much ADH, okay, so let's go back to this, antidiuretic. So we're not going to diuresis and we got too much of it. Yes, retaining water. So now we are not peeing. So what we're doing is we're retaining that water, retaining water. If we're retaining water, what are we freaking out about? What are we freaking out about more than anything else? If we're retaining water, one of the eight, one of the eight that we look for, what is one of the eight that we look for? Freaking out, what are we freaking out about? Remember the eight, airway is always number one. Number two, and two through seven or through two through eight are interchangeable, but I'm gonna go with altered mental status, sepsis, changes in potassium, five is peritonitis, six is 
What are we missing here? Hemorrhage. Seven is hypoglycemia under 70. And eight is that child where they use the word lethargic. Those of you just joining me for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you see the words initial, immediate, priority, first, urgent, most concerning, report to healthcare provider, all those things say the same thing. What are you freaking out about? What are you freaking out about? Find one of those eight. Find one of those eight. 90 to 95% of the time, you will find one of those eight. So going back to SIADH, going back to SIADH, if I am not peeing and I am retaining water, retaining water, retaining water, my sodium levels are going to drop. Relatively speaking, I'm retaining water, so we've got decreased sodium. What are we worried about? Seizures. Seizures are altered mental status. If I'm having a seizure, I'm having altered mental status. Find one of the eight. It's what we're freaking out about. This person at 120 MEQ is at risk for seizures. What are we going to do? Hypertonic saline. Hypertonic saline, right? 3%. So normal, normal saline is 0.9%. It's kind of the, the way that our body is broken down. That's why we always start off with 0.9% um, normal saline because our body is kind of constituted that way. But when we're deficient, we're going to give hypertonic because we, we need to give more sodium than water, right? That's why we give them hypertonic, hypertonic solution, okay? So a couple of things just for real life. For real life, when you are correcting sodium, you have to correct it in a very gradual manner. Remember, water follows sodium. If we give sodium too fast, water is going to follow it. And guess what happens to that cell? Boom, it bursts in the brain. So what we're trying to fix as an altered mental status or as a sodium deficiency or hyponatremia we are now overcorrecting. Now we've got sodium going into the cell so fast that water follows it. Now they burst. What does that lead to? Central pontine myelinosis. CPM. CPM. If you do not know what this is, the other term we use for it is locked in syndrome. Locked in syndrome. Probably the scariest thing a person can ever, ever, ever experience. Their whole body is paralyzed, but they can hear and see everything. They cannot move. They can't move their head. They can't blink their eyes. They can't do anything, but they can hear and see everything. So we're worried about this. We're worried about SIADH, right? So we're going to correct the sodium and figure out what's causing SIADH, the one that the boards like the most is small cell lung cancer. Now we've clarified the difference between the two. Now obviously, if we take it one step further, what are we gonna see in our urine specific gravity? It's gonna be high, high and concentrated. I love when I, my students answer this right. Man, it means I'm doing my job right. What are we gonna see in uh, serum? Serum sodium we talked about. What about osmolality? Yeah, it's gonna be low. It's gonna be low, it's gonna be dilute. So the other one, we diluted the urine. This one, we diluted the, the serum. So you can see how people get this confused. Diabetes insipidus versus SIADH. Man, we covered some super, super high yield topics.